Dear customers, welcome to use flexible version high-speed labor printing machine. I would like to introduce the basic feature and the matters required attention before using this machine. Then we will demonstrate the whole operational procedure of the machine. This printing machine can print various labor bands, including ribbon, adhesive tape, zero spinning clocks, polyester band, nylon band, and etc with rapid speed, excellent sprinting, durable washing ability, unfadeable, and has a paid CE certification. Firstly, I would like to introduce the feature of the machine in all aspects and the important matters required attention during using the machine. This machine should have reliable grounding protection and stable voltage power supply 220 volt and 15 ampere is used for the machine. Now I would like to introduce the basic structure of the machine. This is the control panel. The push patterns on the panel are power switch, indicator light, two hot controls, counters, speed control, engine push button, run push button, stop push button, and emergency stop push button. This is an unwinder section used for placing lowering ribbon. The right of it is the printing station of the face of printing ribbon. The left of it is the printing station of the back of the printing ribbon. The printing station consists of convening roller, ceramic anti-lux roller, impression arm, inking fountain, and the printing plate roller. There is a ribbon convening lower in the middle of the printing station on the printing station, which is used for convening ribbon. A double-side adhesive is mounted on the central drum. The adhesive can make the ribbon fixed on the central drum to ensure the ribbon not to be displaced. Two plates on the top are heating plates used for joining ribbon after printing. The last is rewinding section. Those are the basic structure of this machine. Then I would like to introduce the installation of printer cylinder. A set printer cylinder consists of print cylinder, manager and gear. Various specification of the manager can be installed in printing cylinder. Different lenses of labels need different specification of the printing cylinders. The customers can order the required specification according to the need of the production. The details of the printing specification can refer to the machine instructions. To install printing cylinder is very easy. Insert the manager into printing cylinder. Fit the set screws with Allen key. Then install gear. Fix the set screws in the gear. Then the installation of printing cylinder is finished. After the installation of printing cylinder is finished, put it on the printing cylinder container and then mount the double side adhere on the printing cylinder. Cut a double side adhere tape a little larger than the flexible printing plate and mount it on the printing cylinder. The double side adhere tape should be drawn to be straight to ensure no bubble produced when mounting double side adhere. Rip off the protective paper of the double sticky band after mounting it and then mount the flexible printing plate on the double sticky band. There are several line makers on the printing cylinder used for standard reference for mounting flexible printing plate, which can ensure the flexible plate not being mounted obliquely. The joint of the flexible plate should precisely mount the joint of double sticky band. After mounting the printing plate, the ink fountain can be installed. Firstly, look at the structure of the ink fountain. The main components of the ink fountain are two backlit plates, a ductile blade and four long screws, three short screws and two big circle screws. Before fixing the ink fountain on equipment, first release a bit of four long screws and three short screws that equipped with printing machine. Press ink fountain hard towards the analog lower to make sure both sides of printing units backlit plate completely embedded in the printing machine's ink fountain. The next is to use hand to tight two big circle screws of ink fountain. Ensure the ink fountain is stable enough. Thirdly, 
tighten gently up four long screws and three short screws, a tension which cannot be too tight, otherwise the blade will easily damage. The ink can be installed after ink fountain fixed. Use the shell loaded with ink on the allen locks lower carefully. Do not scrape the any locks lower. Then press inching push button over the machine so that the ink is uniform. After the ink is installed, the ribbon can be fed. Fix a lower ribbon up the elevator section and then stuck a board to fix ribbon. Then open the ribbon. First pull the nip lower on the left side of the print station. Loose nip lower. Then put ribbons through the left side of the printing station. Pull the ribbon to the first layer heating boards after it puts through and then pull it to the right printing station. Also loosen the right place nip lower with the printing handle. Affix one end of the ribbon on the convenient lower's tape. The absorption of the adhesive can make the ribbon fixed on the convey roller. And then press the entering push button to wear push through the ribbon to the right side of the printing block. When ribbon is transferred out of the central drum, pour the ribbon to the top heat template. Put a ribbon cord on the revider section, then stick the ribbon on the ribbon cord, tighten the ribbon, then insert a bolt to fix the ribbon on the circle ribbon. and tighten the nip lower to protect the ribbon. Then adjust the springs and screws on the revider section until ribbon's tightness is suitable. Ribbon installation is complete. The next step is adjust the impression arms. The equipment is equipped with an impression arm on both sides with every color's prediction. Each impression arm has two screws to adjust the impression. One for adjusting pressure from top to bottom. The other is for adjusting in and out pressure. First, loose the impression arm spot and pull it out. Adjust until balanced. The install printing cylinder pasted on soft version to the impression arm. Pull out printing cylinder spot first. Install one end of the stick into printing cylinder's but concave spaces. Then align and install the gear at the impression arm's concave space. Use both hands to advance toward a balanced version of the arm. Align the intrude part of the soft printing to any locks and ribbon. Lock the handles on both impression arm firmly. Screw out the screws in and out pressure of the impression arm. And then press the RAM push button on the panel control. Slowly adjust the pressure. Adjust every pressure screw with hand sense. Use Allen key to adjust the impression arm. Move the ribbon cord to align with the printing station. While adjusting, check printing result until alignment position comes to the best performance. After adjusting the machine, the counter and hot control on the control panel can be set. Counter is used to calculate the amount of labor printing, input printing number. When the quantity of printing comes to the number, the machine will be stopped automatically. The counting way of counter is labor's quantity multiply labor's length, length by millimeters, divide 220. Then put the calculated numbers into the counter. If the program gets disordered by mistake, please refer to the instruction of the device and reset. Then adjust the hot control on the control panel until the temperature suits to the material. 
Attention to the left side of the hot control to calculate temperature above the temperature of the heat plate. The hot control on the right side is to adjust the underside heating plate temperature. The printing machine adjustment has finished. Press run push button to print. Pay attention to whether the ribbon is out of the place in the printing process or due to heating place temperature doesn't adjust to the right degree. While the ink is still wet without to dirty or spoil the ribbon. When anything is unusual, press stop push button or emergency stop push button. Above are the machine's printing procedure. Clean up the machine after printing. Clean up the machine after printing as soon as possible. Do not keep ink stay on the machine for too long time. Firstly, load the printing cylinder. Put it on the printing cylinder container. Then use ink shower to remove the ink. Load the ink unit. Clean up the any locks immediately. Use slow speed to operate the machine to clean up the any locks by pressing run button. Put on gloves. Clean the ink state on any locks with softer cloths dipped into chemicals. Do clean it up completely. Make sure without ink state left, otherwise it will affect the any locks performance. Clean up any locks first, then printing section. Pay attention to clean blades and the cracks and the backlit plate on both sides. Make sure no ink left on the bottom of the ductile blade. Clean up printing cylinder at last. First, use softer cloths with solvent to clean up the ink on the printing machine. Then tear down double sticky band. Use both clean and softer cloths with solvent to clean up the printing cylinder is okay. The heating plate of the machine also needs to clean from time to time. Turn off the hot controls until the heating place temperature goes down. Use soft cloths with solvent to clean is okay. After clean up of the machine, remember to use the nipple's handle on the right side of the printing section to avoid nipple clamping the center jump tape at a long time with the result of tape deformation. Above RC and K flat core high speed printing machines printing procedures and attentions. Thank you for using C&K Series products. If you have any queries and need of help in using, please free to contact our customer service department at any time. Our company will solve all the problems for you as soon as possible. Thank you.